Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gianluca Massi speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project and it's a pleasure for me to be here tonight sharing with you the supermoon, the Harvest Supermoon, the first supermoon of the, of the year. First of all, I want to thank the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope Project, they are Software BISC, SeaWeb and Telescope Live. That said, I want to remind you that uh, these events are host for free and you are welcome to join them anytime and I strongly suggest you to subscribe our YouTube channel because we mm, schedule regularly new shows and we are working now to schedule a wonderful live view of Comet Lemon just uh, uh, putting a wonderful uh, show in the night nice sky and we are observing it right now by the way with our telescopes you can also support the virtual telescope project if you love if you like what you see what we are doing and in in this case just visit www.virtualtelescope.eu slash donate that's it my friend we are here celebrating uh, the full moon and uh, i'm happy to start sharing with you a few images while we are waiting uh, to have uh, our live site so i want to start showing you this image of the moon i captured a few hours ago showing this beautiful harvest moon so my friends it's a pleasure to honor the promise we made to bring to you this uh, wonderful full moon before we start observing this uh, harvest supermoon, I also want to share a quick gallery of images I captured over the years involving the supermoon or at least a full moon from Rome with the, the legendary monuments of my city. I live in Rome, Italy. Keep in mind that supermoon is not an astronomical term. This is something I want to underline. You know, the moon is orbiting around the Earth uh, along an elliptic orbit, and uh, sometimes the moon is closer, sometimes the moon is farther than the, than the average from our planet. When the full moon happens with the moon almost uh, at its minimum distance from the Earth, the so-called perigee, it is called supermoon. It just means that being a bit closer, we will see the moon a bit larger in the sky, more or less 5 or 6 percent. It's a very subdol difference. I believe nobody will take note of the difference, but it's a true difference, very small but true. And being a bit closer, it will be also a bit brighter. So I start con I continue sharing images of uh, the wonderful full moon uh, as seen from Rome. These are, uh, I managed to capture these images. This is the Colosseum with the full moon rising just behind it. This is uh, the 2018 uh, uh, total lunar eclipse just uh, captured beside the the Colosseum and again a full moon rising uh, above the Colosseum and uh, this is also a wonderful super moon I captured a few years ago from Rome and just below the moon there is the Italian flag that is uh, the Quirinale the residence of uh, the president of uh, Italy then here we have perhaps the best picture I captured from Rome of the moon, rising above uh, quite a number of legendary monuments. If you are familiar at least a bit with the, the monuments in Rome, perhaps you can recognize something in this image. Another full moon rising at sunset, my friends. I hope that you appreciate the opportunity to spy the supermoon as seen from Rome. These are, of course, images from our archives. I'm just starting to share these images before sharing 
live images with you. This is St. Peter Dome with the December 2017 uh, super moon approaching. So many fond memories from me. It took a lot of time. It was uh, every time uh, a huge effort to calculate the right, where to go, the right spot in the city, to have the moon perfectly aligned with a given monument. And uh, I hope that you can appreciate these sites. So here we are, my friends. Now I will try to ask my robotic telescope to slew and observe the moon. But before being here, I also share with you an unusual sight because the telescope I'm going to use to show you the moon is actually busy imaging comet Lemon. Perhaps you have heard about this comet. So let me let me share with you the side of the comet. Here it is. This is just a little gift to you. Okay, let me change. Here it is. This is Comet Lemon imaged uh, right now from uh, our telescopes. But that said, now I want to ask the system to slew and point the moon. Those of you familiar with the Virtual Telescope project perhaps will remember that our I am in Rome, Italy, and uh, all the telescopes part of the Virtual Telescope project are about 120 kilometers north of Rome under a wonderful uh, dark sky in Tuscany. Uh, of course, when uh, you have the full moon, the dark sky really uh, doesn't matter because of the bright uh, moonlight. But uh, uh, just to tell that the telescopes are uh, remote, nobody is there now and I am sitting in my uh, office in Rome and I just asked the telescope to slew to point our moon and now I'm going to take a quick image just uh, to test that everything is working fine. I'm just adjusting some parameters. So let's take our first image. Need to adjust contrast brightness. And also let me use a filter because the moon bright, very bright. I'm just uh, wearing sunglasses basically with the telescope now okay now after introducing this filter dramatically reducing the lunar glare i think we will be able to see a much better moon here we are, my friends. I'm happy that we are collecting this live together. Let me take a few images. Here we are, my friends. As always, the virtual telescope is bringing to you live images of the moon. This is a, a sequence of images. A 
I hope you appreciate the sight. This is the harvest super moon captured live thanks to the virtual telescope project. As I said, we are using one of our robotic telescopes. Take now another image. How beautiful our moon is every time. Just playing a bit. This is a negative palette, of course, quite strange, I, I admit. And uh, while we are imaging, the super moon is uh, lovely approaching the western horizon here in Italy. Now back to typical palette, here it is. I hope you are appreciating this opportunity to spy the Harvest Super Moon live thanks to our project. Just taking a new image. So as I said, supermoon is just, it, it's not an astronomical term, it's just uh, underlining that this full moon is happening while the moon is close to its perigee, that is uh, its minimum distance from our planet Earth. This happens because uh, the orbit of the moon is not circular, it's an, ellip an ellipse. So sometimes the moon is closer sometimes it's farther when the full moon happens with the moon close to its minimum distance from the earth being a bit closer it will be it, it will also be a bit brighter a bit larger in the sky a few percent something very marginal by the way i'm pretty sure as i said earlier that nobody will uh, know the difference So happy that uh, we are having some uh, good sights. And I hope that you enjoyed this uh, quick sight of the moon. I'm just going to take uh, a final image here it is so friends we had uh, such a very quick sight on the harvest uh, supermoon the first supermoon of the year the next one in uh, November 
will be a bit closer so it will be the largest supermoon of the year we will schedule a live feed for that moon as well so i suggest you to subscribe our youtube channel so you will uh, receive uh, notifications every time we schedule something you know the virtual telescope project has been around for 20 years now wow <laughs> how long and we always want to share with you the, the, the best astronomical events eclipses meteor showers uh, uh, close approaching asteroids super moons comets whatever so if you really want to keep a window wide open on the universe the best thing to do and it is free also is just to subscribe our uh, youtube channel you can also consider supporting our project you see we never ask for money to join but in order to keep our advanced instrumentation up and running we have to pay bills so you if you want you can contribute just uh, uh, visiting www.virtualtelescope.eu slash donate if you want to keep alive our project my friends so that's it it was a privilege for me to share this uh, harvest uh, super moon live i hope that you had some uh, good time connecting and uh, i want to thank again the technological partners of the virtual telescope project they are software bisc c web and telescope time telescope live so my friends thank you for joining i'm looking forward to host you again next time there are we are planning a wonderful live view of uh, the comet lemon uh, as soon as the moon will leave the night sky uh, giving us again uh, dark skies for the best experience we will schedule this live feed take care my friends and uh, keep looking up Gianluca Massi Virtual Telescope Project Rome Italy